Hey everyone, welcome back into a Friday night edition of the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz, we once again talking about weather. I was hoping the rain that came this morning would kind of swap out the, the, the smoke, but, but you know what? It just came back again this afternoon, and we're looking at more rain in the forecast, and so maybe that'll scour things out, but we'll keep our fingers crossed on that. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Nice photograph. Once again, William Blizzard sent this one in. A fire sunset, and you can see why. Look at the clouds in the background, the nice red colors from the smoke, and a very, very colorful shot. As always, uh, if you have a photograph to share, send it to photos at ktvf11.com. We'll share it with the rest of the audience. Your numbers look like this. 79, the high today. The low last night, 51. The record high, 92. That was set in 2013. The record low, 38 in 1949. Actually, I think the high was right around 62. I think it's a, that's a computer mistake there. The uh, sunrise this morning and uh, sunset uh, works out to about 21 hours and 46 minutes. That's a loss of two minutes from yesterday. On the satellite and radar, again, you can see a lot of moisture moving up off the Gulf of Alaska. That's all in association with this area of low pressure here, kind of cartwheeling all that moisture up, and that's what helped give us our showers today. More expected in this band coming in tomorrow. That'll be bringing more uh, opportunities for heavier rain shower activity, and that will hopefully put more um, dampening the fires out a little bit. We keep our fingers crossed on that one. What else is going on across the rest of the state? Well, it is raining around the Juneau area and scattered showers at Ketchikan. Also showers in the Anchorage Bowl, 60 degrees there. Kodiak at 56, uh, Cold Bay 50 degrees. And up and down the West Coast, things aren't too bad. 63 degrees, a little cooler in Bethel today than it was yesterday. 46 at Nome, 40 at Barrow. And Fort Yukon checking in with 68 degrees, lots of sunshine there. Lower 48 weather, again, hot temperatures are the rule. Almost 90 degrees in Seattle today, warming up really good. Almost 100 degrees in Salt Lake City. Denver, not too bad, 81. Still very warm in Dallas, 95 there, showers and thunderstorms. Of course, the 100 and teens around the Las Vegas area, a little bit cooler in Phoenix. Elsewhere, Minneapolis looking at partly cloudy skies, scattered showers along the Gulf Coast right over to Miami, and more showers around the New York area, only 80 degrees there, not too bad. On the satellite and radar, you can see things are clearing out across the, the midsection, but still a lot of showers and thunderstorms uh, moving across from the west to the east, especially off the Gulf Coast. And out to the west, not too many clouds to be seen there. Not a whole lot going on when you have all those hot temperatures. That's because the high pressure is really building in. Now, it's just the opposite on the eastern side of the country. Low pressure is the big dominant feature here, so storms are really moving up and uh, getting ready for more heavy rain across much of the northeast tomorrow. The overall jet stream, once again, hasn't moved a lot since yesterday. Again, high pressure really dominant underneath this this uh, jet stream here, which means a strong heat wave and more storms across the Great Lakes moving into the eastern half of the country. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow. Well, here's what it looks like in the northern sections. Mostly cloudy skies at Barrow, not too bad. Partly cloudy at Nome, then a few scattered showers for Fort Yukon. Temperatures have cooled down quite a bit, though. You can see 69 degrees at Fort Yukon. And uh, over the interior, we're looking at widespread showers to increase throughout the day tomorrow. Some of those could be heavy at times, helping put the fires out, we hope. And Fairbanks only looking at 62 for the high. Over southeast Alaska, rain for Juneau and just showers expected at Ketchikan. While over to the southwest, it looks like for the most part cloudy skies at Cold Bay. Showers for Bethel and also at Kodiak. And down around the Anchorage Bowl, not too bad actually. Partly cloudy skies at Anchorage. Showers at home, uh, Homer, but uh, uh, steady rain expected for Valdez. And once again, a reminder, we do have, once again, uh, an air quality advisory in effect until Monday at 5 o'clock. Levels will continue to be unhealthy for Fairbanks and North Pole. Limit your outdoor activities, obviously, to uh, prevent any kind of respiratory problems. So your forecast for the remainder of the night. Then smoke along with scattered showers, 56 degrees for the overnight low. Tomorrow's forecast, quite a bit cooler, 62 degrees, heavy showers into the evening, and not as smoky, that's some encouraging news. And the extended forecast calling for temperatures to start rising back once again by Monday and Tuesday with showers again by Wednesday. The showers that we have over the weekend should be uh, moving out of the picture by Monday. Lots of sunshine to return and things will start drying out once again. And 50 degrees for the overnight low almost all four or five days period.